parents have been lighting up with questions about e-cigarettes and what they can say to their teenagers to convince them to stop or better yet not even use them. E-cigarettes or electronic cigarettes are battery powered smoking devices that contain cartridges filled with a liquid that usually contains nicotine as well as other chemicals that may be cancer causing and have the same addictive potential as a real cigarette. In fact, some e-cigarettes don't look like cigarettes at all, but like thumb or flash drives or memory sticks for computers. These are called pod devices, which can have as much nicotine as a whole pack of cigarettes and be used by a teenager in a period of minutes. Nicotine through vaping can raise blood pressure and heart rate, potentially resulting in abnormal heart rhythms, which can cause heart failure and even death. High nicotine exposure can also affect memory, concentration, and brain development in teens. How might you know if your child is vaping? Well, suggested signs include increased thirst and urination due to the dryness in their mouth and throat and their need to hydrate. There may be a desire for increased flavoring at mealtimes since food becomes less flavorful with the mouth dried out. Another clue might be finding unfamiliar thumb or flash drive devices, battery chargers, or spare parts that contain the liquid chemicals that require heat for vaporization. Of course, while it's important to know if your child is vaping, it's even more important to prevent them from getting started. Thus, the name of the game is to educate your children and teens about these devices. First, parents, you need to know the facts, and you can get them at knowledgeable websites such as e-cigarettes.surgeongeneral.gov. Start early, even in elementary or early middle school, when your children can understand how dangerous these devices are to their health and that you don't improve of their vaping or using e-cigarettes no matter what. If they are already vaping, keep your cool. Listen and encourage an open dialogue and not a lecture, and have this important conversation not once, but over time. If you begin the talk in an angry or anxious manner, your teen will shut down. Instead, acknowledge it's difficult to stay away from vaping if your child is thinking about trying it or already has, but that you're there to help however you can because you care so much about their health and well-being. Give them strategies to say no to vaping, such as, I'm in training. Of course, parents, if you do smoke or vape, your kids, who see you as a role model, may want to do it as well. So consider quitting smoking or vaping for their health as well as for your own. So that hopefully, tips like these will smoke out what you need to know when it comes to recognizing and discouraging the use of e-cigarette products in your teens and in yourself. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.